Yep, moving objects through a door when it keeps closing is super annoying. So instead, tie a rubber band around the handle on each side of the door so that it crosses over the latch. The latch then won't be able to pop out, and the door won't lock shut. To check whether your bed sheets are fully dried, take a mirror and place it underneath. Leave it there for around 5 minutes, and if it steams up, it means the sheets are still damp. A damp bed can be a breeding ground for mold and other nasty fungi. You can paint the end of your keys with different colored nail polish so that you can easily identify which key is which. In order to pour the perfect amount of oil or salad dressing, poke holes in the foil seal rather than removing it completely. This prevents a big amount rushing out quickly. To prevent band-aids from slipping off your finger, cut a line on either side. This will create four smaller sticky strips rather than one large one, and it will be much easier to secure. If you enter a public restroom and see a red Solo cup someone put under the seat, better choose another booth. It means there's no toilet paper in this one. The red cup is a frequent replacement for a toilet paper hub, which is also put under the seat for the same reason. Speaking of restrooms, almost any public toilet has a large gap between the floor and the door. The reason for such a zero-privacy thing is to actually minimize the level of privacy and comfort so that people won't stay there long and there'd be no lines. It's also to clean and safer if some emergency occurs. Forgot to put your drink in the fridge? Wrap a wet paper towel around it and put it in the freezer. In just 15 minutes, your drink will be ice cold. Instead of filling your purse or wallet with store loyalty cards, you can take a photo of them. Just take one snap of the barcode as well as a picture of the front so you know which card it is. Then, when you visit the store, just scan the barcode on your phone to collect your points. If you're using your phone to watch something and are tired of propping it up and having it fall back down, try using your sunglasses. Simply place them upside down and use the parts that go around your ears to hold the phone in place. Now, if you don't have the correct size coin to put in your shopping cart next time you go to the supermarket, you can use your key instead. If you have a key with a rounded end, you can insert that where the coin would go and the cart should unlock. If you're struggling to get your taco shells to stay in place, use a muffin tray. Flip the tray upside down, spray it with oil, and place your tortillas in the gap. Cook them for around 10 minutes at 700 degrees Fahrenheit for the perfect crispy taco shell. You can use a water bottle to separate egg yolks. Hold the bottle over the yolk and squeeze it to suck the yolk up. Drop it into a separate bowl and you're good to go. Next time you're struggling to clean your ceiling fan, use a pillowcase. Slide the pillowcase over each blade to wipe off the dust. This way, excess dust is caught inside the pillowcase and won't rain down on you. To properly clean your blender, fill it with soap and hot water. Switch it on for around 10 seconds and let the swirling water do the hard work. Then just rinse it off and it's clean. Put down a strip of masking tape before nailing into plaster walls. The tape should stop the plaster from flaking or spreading dust all over the floor. If your shoes smell bad, put a few dry tea bags into the shoe. The tea bags will absorb the smell. Try using toothpaste to remove small scratches on furniture. Rub a peanut-sized amount on the scratch in a circular motion until the scratch buffs out. Then wipe it with a damp cloth and voila! Drill a couple of small holes in the bottom of your trash can to stop the bag getting stuck when you pull it out. The holes stop the vacuum-like effect that keeps the bag pinned down. You can easily remove the sticky residue from jars using cooking oil. Soak a cotton pad in some oil, then rub it on the sticky area. Allow it to sit for a few minutes, then it should wipe away easily. Now, you can use hair conditioner to make that new wool sweater less itchy. Just soak it in lukewarm water with a couple of tablespoons of conditioner and leave it for 15 minutes. Then just dry it and your sweater will be much softer. An odor on your fingers can be removed with some minty toothpaste. Rub them together with toothpaste, then rinse them clean. It'll help get rid of the odor and act as a light scrub, too.
Now, before you throw out those old sneakers, arm yourself with an old toothbrush and a little toothpaste. Work the paste into the dirty spots and leave it for at least 10 minutes. Wipe it off with a damp cloth and repeat if it didn't do it right the first time. Be careful with color toothpaste, it may leave stains. Washing your clothes on a low heat, or even better, a cold wash, will make them last twice as long. Drying them on the line, if possible, will also make the material last longer than if you used a dryer. Metal zippers are very durable, but they'll snag more than other kinds of zippers. Just gently rub a bar of soap over the teeth of both sides of the zipper. The residue will help lubricate it, making it easier to slide open and closed. When you can't squeeze any more toothpaste out of your tube, just cut the end off. This will allow you to get what's left inside onto your toothbrush in a pinch. If there's enough for more than one use, place it in a plastic bag for later. Freezing candles before use can make them burn a lot slower. This will cool the wax right down and extend its melting time. A pack of cotton pads has those strings on it so that we can hang it on some hook or holder. And no, there's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear along it, and now you're good to pull out a cotton pad. If you've ever tasted a Nintendo cartridge, you'll confirm that, yes, they taste revolting, leaving a sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, one of the most disgusting flavors known. Actually, this taste is kind of a hidden function. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. Headrests in a car are about comfort, and detachable headrests are about safety. If you pull the headrest out of the seat, you'll see two bars, which are quite sturdy. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. Rough edges on the dimes aren't just about design. The coins used to be made of precious metals to show their real value. People would shave off the edges, spending the shaven coins with the same value, and melt the edges to new coins. To avoid it, minters added that pattern so people could tell if someone cut that coin before. That black grate on a microwave isn't just some fancy decoration. It's called a Faraday shield, and it prevents the rays from escaping the microwave. It also speeds up the heating, so you could enjoy yesterday's leftovers faster. A triple handle on a jerry can is there to make it easier for two people to carry it and distribute the fuel evenly. Gas cans often have a second hole that actually needs to be uncapped, too, before you pour the gas. The air passage will prevent it from pouring out, so no more fuel waste.